tell me what happened 15 years ago. I would need to go on a mission to try to find a drug to save my life. I eventually was diagnosed with this horrible disease called Castleman disease. It's very, very fatal. I even had my last rights read to me. When a doctor tells you, like, we've tried everything, there's nothing else that we can do. Yes, we've tried everything that the medical system knows about, but, like, that doesn't mean that we've tried everything. If I'm going to be alive because of a repurposed drug, I sort of feel like I owe the universe. Dr. David Feigenbaum is a physician and survivor who saved his life by repurposing a drug and now leads a global hunt for hidden cures. Tell me about how you're using AI during this whole integration period of drug repurposing. There are 4,000 drugs, and in total, there are 18,000 diseases. So if you tried every drug in every disease, it would be 75 million tries. Humans can't actually look across 75 million connections. So what we use AI for is to actually give us a score for all 75 million calculations. We've saved thousands of lives with drugs that weren't made for these people's diseases, and they would just be dead if we hadn't repurposed the drugs for them. I shared about Joseph. He was in the ICU with this horrible disease called Pones. It was 100% certain he was going to die if we didn't try the medicine. Across autoimmune diseases, the common variable or the common factor is the immune system. And there are so many drugs that can modulate the immune system in one way or another. Do you think there's a way of looking at these drugs that could even be potentially connected to cancer? Yes, but we have to think outside the box. What I try to share in Chasing My Cure is that a big realization I've had is that I didn't actually have to nearly die five times to realize that I was in overtime because the truth is, as tough as it is to hear this, like we're actually all in overtime. Like we should all be living life and you know playing every day like we're in overtime. So I really hope that this sense of overtime is something that, that other people can, can take with them.